Determination of a molar mass of a metal. The first outcomes is to be able to standardize the hydrochloric acid solution. And the second is to determine the molar mass of a metal by back titration method. In the first part of the experiment, we can calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid based on the titration data. In part B, first, we will transfer 25 milliliters of the acid into a conical flask. Because we already calculated the concentration of the acid during part A, we can calculate total moles of acid present in the conical flask. We will then put a piece of metal into that conical flask and let the metal fully dissolve by the acid. What happened here is some of the acid is used to dissolve the metal. However, how can we determine the number of unreacted acid left in the conical flask? The number of unreacted acid can be determined by titrating the solution with sodium hydroxide. By subtracting the moles of unreacted acid from the total moles of acid present in the conical flask, we can determine the moles of acid that has reacted with the metal. Here is the list of chemical reagents and the apparatus needed in this experiment. You can always refer this list in your chemistry laboratory manual. Now let's start experiment 3. Let's recap how to use burette. Fill a burette with a small amount of tap water, rotate the burette horizontally a few times, and discard through the stopcock. Check whether the stopcock functions properly and repeat the steps by using distilled water. Now, we will rinse the burette with the solution to be used that is 1.0 molar sodium hydroxide. Fill the burette with 1.0 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Record the initial burette reading to two decimal places. Remember, the initial reading is not necessarily 0, 0.00. Now let's prepare the pipette. Draw a small amount of tap water into the pipette by using pipette filler. Rotate the pipette horizontally a few times and discard the water. Repeat the steps by using distilled water and the solution to be used. Pipette 25 ml hydrochloric acid solution into a 250 ml conical flask. Transfer the solution. At this point, remember the last drop must remain at the tip of the pipette. Add one or two drops of phenolphthalein to the acid. Place a piece of white tile underneath the flask. Titrate the acid with the NaOH solution. Swirl the flask continuously. The first titration is always gross titration, in which we can estimate the gross volume of titrant needed in the process. From time to time, rinse the unreacted solutions on the inner wall of the conical flask. Upon reaching the endpoint, a temporary pink solution will appear, but it fades when the solution is swirled. Continue your titration until you get a permanent pale pink color. Record the final reading of the burette. Now for the actual three titrations, you need to repeat it for three times 
and the pink color must be very light, unlike the one for the gross reading. When you have finished, tabulate the data in the data sheet and calculate the concentration of the HCl solution. Now let's start part B. Label two conical flasks as sample one and sample two. Pipette 25 ml of hydrochloric acid solution into the conical flask for sample one. I pack another 25 ml of HCl solution for sample 2. Clean two pieces of metal M each of approximately 4 cm long. Use a piece of sandpaper or abrasive cloth. Weigh accurately the mass of each sample by using analytical balance. Cut each sample into smaller pieces. Place the samples separately into the HCl solution. Swirl occasionally until the metal is completely dissolved. Be careful not to inhale the released hydrogen gas. Add 1 to 2 drops of anophthalene to the conical flask of sample 1. Record the initial burette reading again to two decimal places. Titrate the unreacted HCl of sample 1. Until the endpoint is reached. That is the pale pink color that we want. Record the final burek reading to two decimal places. Lastly, repeat the titration with sample 2. Tabulate the data in the data sheet. Now you should be able to calculate the molar mass of metal M. Good luck! <sighs> Experiment is done. See you again!